Hi guys, Dan the Wolfman here, and I'm going to do a little reaction video to Rokus Martial Arts Journey. Uh, I challenged a knife expert. I try to attack a knife expert. So, here we go. No knife versus knife. We're going to watch full speed and then probably quarter speed. Here we go. I don't want to have that and I hope that wasn't supposed to be a committed attack. Oh, you see his stance is off. He's leaning back. He's scared. He's showing fear. Honestly, instantly fear reaction merely from having his base taken off, his arm grabbed. Like it's a structure all messed up. So please, I hope we don't consider that a committed attack. And then fear right away just from being stabbed once. And so he's already... Uh, leaning back being fearful uh now maybe goggles should be worn i don't know if, how pointy that knife was uh so there's fear of eyes we want a frozen steam and see just a little open hand slap there gets a clinch a flinch response of the eyes closed look at my breakdown of rokus's second mma fight if you want to learn more about that just because johan responded so well but for my second attempt i decided not to stop no matter what yeah so So he came in with like a half-hearted grab oh, so. um, uh, left hand to his right arm and he's already but parried bladed away so good on the knife expert for getting that Never elbow won. control yeah, so. and then rokus just is in fear and gonna be but killed. again johan controlled the situation so well that it was so the center line is controlled it's difficult to continue and there we go go to jail so i'm sure. just stopping here right now Look at that again. Right now. Perry's down one handed, parries both the arms down one handed, and then a kind of axe hand knife chop to the neck. And the blade is completely open. Rokus is merely palming his bicep. And there's the kidney shot right there. And, that's and there's the finish. Slice to the neck. So knife expert, maybe he really is a knife expert, though it's hard to get an expert at knife fighting, otherwise you're like either dead. We're like really old in the Philippines, and most of them are with sticks on Sundays and challenge matches. And occasionally, maybe you've killed twice, and now you got a. Uh, but but those guys are dying off, eighty nine year old dudes. I did attack Johan with a knife when he didn't have one. Okay, so there was a parry and a punch to the chest. I'm gonna assume he's just being nice to Rokus at this point because that would really be a punch. Yeah, hopefully that would be a parry and a punch to the uh, face. Or a strike to the throat. Another parry. Picked up the hand right away. Very good. So good on him. First and then he just shoves him out of the way. If I can. Get off the line of attack. Parry passes. And a count go passes good from his right to his left arm. So by working stick drills and knife drills, obviously he's very ambidextrous. Able to pass from the right to the left very well. We've seen that a couple times. The left arm has the tricep and a right hook to the head. And now we go Krav Maga style in on him with punch, 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 punch. But he is most importantly driving with forward energy, which means Rokas can't re-square up to reuse that knife. So he's getting one over. So I did like seeing that. A little smack to the face, a little parry and a smack to the face. Rokus is leaning away. Now it's easy to Pinocchio and do whatever you want to the guy because that is not a very committed attack. When someone's coming at you with a knife, it's really going to be bloody murder. And they're going to stab, 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 stab. They're not going to go, oh my god, I got a little slappy in the face, barely. And now I look away and give my structure away. So that is not a very committed attack. I'm not saying bad so on the defender here. I'm saying bad on Rokus for all the stuff he calls out in the past about non-committed attacks. Uh, the, where is the pressure testing? Now we see some pass stuff from Marrakesh only on the VCS. But the defender is doing good stuff here. And now knife first knife. He got two good slashes to the arm right away. And then he goes, you're bleeding. And then Roka stops and gets stabbed to death. So not being committed in his attack yet again. Uh, when Rokus, the supposedly uh, MMA fighter, now he calls himself, says Aikido keeps changing from 15 to 13, and now his recent video, 14 years experience. Uh, one of his recent videos was relabeled five years, then relabeled three, and then I called it out in the comments, and then it was taken out after being relabeled. I had three years of MMA experience before my last fight. Dude, I thought you said it was five. Now, what is it? He keeps changing how many years he's changed, trained Aikido and how many years he trained um, MMA.
So this guy looks pretty good. Uh, I'd like to see him versus more realistic attacks here. Now stick versus knife, stick defender, knife attacker. And he's showing how to, uh, you know, defang the snake there, how to hit the hand and focus on the weapon hand. So not bad. I don't really know who this guy is or his background, but the focus is going to do stuff like this. He needs to be a little more committed by moving his body in and not just, oh my God, I'm scared and going off center. Anyway, guys, if you want to actually learn how to fight, get my four and a half hour combatives and street jujitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics. It's often on sale, as you see here, 42% off, um, 16 five-star reviews, eight five-star reviews on effective self-defense. I'm a bouncer arm guard. I've got four black belts, including Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, fought pro MMA, actually trained with the top guys and instructors all over the world. So if you actually want to learn how to fight, don't just follow a guy on YouTube that, you know, doesn't really know anything. Follow people that have actually been there and done that. Let me know what you think of the comments down below. Kaboom.